Welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all, wherever you are, you're here on the Community Sports Show as we start the Women's State League North versus South match here tonight at Phoenix and straight into it, Northside into attack, but cleared now by South. No worries, that's your pen. I've got enough pens. Thanks, Roxanne. Doing a great job all around, as always. As we pick... Well, people of Phoenix starting to log on. Let's hope that doesn't persist. North versus South. Early in the first quarter. 12-minute quarters for the State League here tonight in this match. As it spills wide. It's a no with the biggest of smiles and the grimace at the same time, just as I get connection back. I'm setting up the second phone ready, because early on, Northside get the first. We'll run through the teams in a moment. Another match on behind us. That's the Men's State League. Round six match. Phoenix up against Wanneroo Joonlup in that one. But we're here tonight for the women's North versus South competition organised by Kate Hooper. And to much acclaim... Guys, there it is. Not sure that was where it was intended to go. Cut left, not on offer there. That's Caitlin Blair, Carlin Blair, I should say. Holly Plummer. Northside. Intercept and go for a run. Good pressure there. South defender gets it. But quick recovery from North. Spills loose. Both players now working hard at ground level. South pick it up. And quick transition here. Cut on offer. That's a little better. Emma Graham is 99. 99. Well, she doesn't look a day over 20. Emma Graham. 99 for Southside. As they get their second. Well, yeah, they get their second. Margin moves to 2 0. No, no, let's cross our fingers. It's Kate Hooper at the draw for South. They lead by two. This time, though, quickly. Out of the centre, North, what can they do? They look to set it up here. Got multiple numbers on a few players, so we'll work that out in a moment. At the moment, the ball with Osha Levy back from the States. Levy goes for the drive. And comes back out, top right with the ball. Well, I've heard of pink boots, but pink shorts out there. Good cut. What's on offer? The drive, the run. 
the pressure from the defence there. And Skyler Levy. Well, Northside with the penalty. They'll come from the fan. And that's Skyler Levy driving towards goals. Referees have found another penalty. It will go back. Osha Levy. Well, that pass, fortunately, got some stick on it north side there. And also to come to ground. And now, what can they do? They trail by two. Big drive, but stopped in the last line of defence. 12 minute quarters in this North versus South competition. Brought to you thanks to our sponsors, ID Athletic and Vision Decor. This Holly Plummer picks it up for North. Hands off to Skylar Levy. Goes side right. Now working it through. Levy on the cut. Levy. Skyler Levy. Uh, that might be a give off there to Holly Plummer. So we'll give that one to Holly. Mum Mandy in the give one match earlier. And one one by the South. Two one in favour of South at the moment. First quarter. Big shout out. Big crowd online. Big welcome to you all wherever you are. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Comes out, finds Teammate there, that's Robinson. South defence, resolute. Now a good pass, Ash Hiron gives it off. Hooper on the run. Well, Kate Hope uh, looks back at Jose O'Keefe from East Fremantle in the 16 tonight for the South Side. These two teams made up of players from the six state league sides for the women's league. Cross here in WA. Wow. Out of the centre, into the cross there of Carlin Blair. And Carlin gets, well, I'm calling it her first because the first two, I have to apologise. I didn't catch the referees letting the bench know. Unfortunately, the bench not on my side today. So Holly Plummer at the centre for North. Can they get one here? Up against Carlin Blair. Yellow ball. Now South quickly into attack again. We've seen this throughout the night so far. Well, that will should be a check. Stick check. Mm. 
Junior Robinson just takes a second from the fan. South. Look to build on their lead. Takes a shot, stopped. Try and pick up the goalies if we can. Clock's on, it's a call. Well, that doggy liked that one. And Northside now with the chance to get an equaliser as we go in. Those who have a shot, Holly Plummer, ball in cross. Well, shot got away, but not before the whistle blows. And there it is. The end of the first quarter. South lead 4-1. Hey, hi Shani. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm alright, thanks. Nice Let me just you. put the score up. There's a few of the ladies from Div 2. How would we go out the back there? We won. Go the north side. Yeah. Uh, Shani Dine and... Mel. Mel. Mel oh, Mel Jane. Yeah. Uh, hey. Oh, of course, she's sporting our fantastic yeah. hat. Looking <laughs> fabulous. The field with this now. <laughs> Looking fabulous. <laughs> Uh, so, time. Did you have a good game, ladies? Yes, it was a really good game. It was really good to interact with the other teams. Yes. Because normally they don't talk to us because we're the opponent. Yeah. But it was really good just to interact with them, and then I reckon when we start playing together again, there'll be more friendliness on the field, more yeah. banter. Well, uh, that's exactly what we want, more friendliness and more banter on the field. Yeah. Sounds like this has been a great event by Holly. Um, sorry, not Holly, by Kate Hooper organising this. So. I reckon they should do it more. Definitely. Be good. Good atmosphere. Yeah. Well, it was nice. Oh, well, sorry, ladies. Uh, you're welcome to jump in here if you like. <laughs> no, no, we're all right. We're all, we're all right. Viewers, that offer applies to everyone out there. If you're in the neighbourhood and want to come jump in the broadcast van... Um, just like Shani Dine and Melissa Jane opted not to do, feel free to come on over. Help me figure out who the goal scorers are. Keep track of what's happening out here because there's plenty of action. A quarter time, 4 1 in favour of South. as we get set for the second quarter here in the lacrosse WA women's north versus south state league match for 2023 south lead 4-1 Kenny Morley senior official out there today Kate Hooper Ball in cross, gives it off, finds a teammate in Blair. Starting to get the numbers matched to the names in my brain. That shot rebounds off, goes a long way back towards the half line now. And Keith settles it down. Oh. A couple of sticks in the way there. Oh, unlucky North offside. Kate Hooper, organiser and Subiaco player. That's the ball. And 
And those players well, that had a seven in it. Wouldn't be surprised if it was Madison Copeland. She's out there and leading the women's state league goal scoring with a huge 32 goals, if you don't mind. That ball back in North's favour. Still got time. Picks it up, comes further afield. Good pick up there. There's Julie Ames. That full stretch from north side. Pass goes wide. Levy. Unable to get that one. They have to work around X, drive towards goal, shot across the face. Oh. Under, under, Skyler Levy working hard in there for North. Comes up. Well, persistence pays. Seven one, Olivia Robinson gets one for the north. I'll have to do a score check, viewers. I have to confess, I'm not a hundred percent confident I got it right. As I have it, it's 5-2, but that could well be 4-3. Hiron at the draw. Both players with a chance. Hiron quickly plays on. South, what's the cut? Oh! Well defended there. That was Liam Snyder having the shot. But a good save and now North quickly back into attack. Close of middle. They settle it down now. Robinson. Levy with the drive, it misses the cross, and now South out. It's going to be a hold called against Aaron Laws. No, going to Aaron Laws, I should say. In the end, cross here at the moment. Might have to open the window up. Get the people on the side to tell me who got who got that one. Emma, Emma, Emma E of Bayswater. Bayzy girls. Emma, one of the young under 17s having an impact. I'll leave that open because I can't tell who's getting them. Actually, to be fair, the previous goal might have been Emma as well. We're in number 27 tonight for Northside. 
And now, they look to pull another back. Good quarter, this one by North. Put a player out the back. Now, good drive. North, patient, work it around. Levy and Skylar. In the pink shorts tonight, just to make sure she's easy to see. In the drive. Well, three goals to one so far this second quarter. I've got the score at 4-5 in favour of South. However, we'll try and confirm that at half time. I know, both sides working hard. Ball up and under. Taken out of the centre there by Osha. Osha Levy from north side. Plays on now. Has a runner through the centre. North retain possession. I'm going to come in here. Osha Levy. Not oh, the press there. And the That one going against Maddie Copeland. And the shot goes wide. Molly Plummer positions herself. Top center. What's on offer? Now the angles come into play here. And the cut's on offer, so North have to drive through. Lots of sticks in there. Well, that one we can say was Madison Copeland. Picked it up on the centre, takes it into attack, and the score, 6-4 in favour of South, unofficial of course, I'm open to feedback at half time, also open to the concept of someone jumping in the van with me, to keep track of the stats. There's the puppy dog to my right, watches on, South go into attack again. They've got the numbers here, Hiram. Into X. Big shout out, big crowd online here for this inaugural North versus South concept match. Been popular. As Leanne Snyder gets one for Southside. Score moves to 7-4. Seven th- seven Three goals apiece in this second quarter. Just 12 minutes long, so not a lot of time for North to respond here. Oh, 
Elizabeth Hinks is the goalie for the north side. I can confirm that. And Kate Churchwood for the south. That one exploding out, so we'll reset. Kelly Morley, experienced referee, represented not just WA but Australia. And so Keith watches on that one out to Plummer. And knocked out by South Defence now. What can they do here? Well, that is half time. And we'll try and get an official score update here for you. But here on the Nolsey scoreboard, at least, I have it. Four goals to north, seven goals to south. But we'll confirm that. Don't trust me, I need to confirm that. camera so if you run don't fall over oh now there's a show we didn't pay for and uh, getting a freebie we just sent the errand person no not an errand boy an errand person over this yeah I know, I know. oh well I've been told Chloe's mum Narelle doing a jig for you all will confirm at the moment north side four south seven no scoreboard in op well, had a haircut yesterday should have maybe waited till I got over the night the back of my neck freezing it is seven four well I'm pleased to report viewers I haven't lost my mind and I can still do mass. North, four, south, seven. In favour of south, I presume. 
Otherwise, I'm completely out. I'm presuming that was south-south. That's what I had. I'm just double checking. Righto, so thanks to our fashion model, Narelle Tatlow, we can confirm the score is 4-7 in favour of the south side as we get set for the second half of the 2023, let's hope it's the first of many, North versus South women's competitions. Well received and brought to you thanks to our sponsors, ID Athletic, for all your sporting apparel, ID Athletic, and Vision Decor, curtains, blinds, awnings, and vinyl floorings. Here we go. Three goal deficit to the north. Can they peg that back and take out what would be a sensational win here tonight? Perfect conditions for lacrosse. Oh, Hooper. Has support. And South quickly into attack, looking to establish a lead here. Just 12 minute quarters. And now released. North. Benefiting from the work of Elizabeth Hinks there. Great work in the goals. Now they look to convert in front. Settle it down. 12 minute quarters. No time on. So now Churchwood releases, comes down the broadcast side. Quick pass there. End to end from South here. Aaron Mitchell in amongst the action. Eight four in favour of South. When you have a look at it, Maddie Copeland leading the goal scoring in the women's state league at the moment. As I reach across to my cheat notes there. 32 goals in five games, Matty Copeland. Supported by an experienced bunch of ladies in the attack. Good to have you back with us, John. Father of Ash out there for the South at the moment. North with possession. The drive, no cuts on offer, pass goes wide, but North with time. That's Plummer, gives it off. Drive in through the centre there, that was Chloe Tatlow. Better get that one right. Chloe back from the States, goes for the run, goes for the shot, it bounces off the keeper there. Kate Churchwood. Second effort. And then we've got a penalty. South disappointed. We'll just Kelly Morley explaining. To the players, they accept it. Wow, good work by Churchwood. Emma, 
Now, inboard. On the break, on the run. That's Emma Graham. Into the team for South Sides. And that one, Carlin Blair. Well, challenging times now for the North. These two teams made up from representatives across the lacrosse WA scene. North, represented by Bayswater, Wanneroo, Joonlup and Wembley, while in the south, East Fremantle, Phoenix and Subiaco making up the players. Flicks out the back, picked up quickly by the North player there. Well, South's defence, well, I was about to give him a compliment and then that pass goes wide, but in general, South's defence have been strong tonight. As they look to set up now, Julie Ames gives it off, the drive. That's Levy, Skyler Levy. And Ty finds Osha. Osha Levy tries to go solo, repelled by the defence of South. Uh, you're welcome there, Jack. Always a pleasure to be part of the lacrosse community. Not just tonight, but tomorrow night at East Fremantle and then Saturday afternoon for the Men's State League as the ladies take a break. All right, South run. Three three, I believe. Emma Green. Certainly, that's who I'll give it to. Emma Graham at the draw for South now. Cool evening, I can't deny that, but perfect conditions for this uh, inaugural event. As players go down, it'll be paid as a trip. Maddie Copeland quickly transitions. Now, Northside do the same, and on the burst here, fast break we've got. Coming in board, that's Mara Crane. One of the young pirates stepping up. Also plays with Wanneroo June Lump, so Mara Crane. Well, that one goes wide, Tatlow. On the end of it, Chloe Tatlow takes the shot, did the hard yards, the benefit of a season in the States, too quick for her own good there. It's North. Look to get their first of the quarter, they trail by, oh, six. South defence working just as hard as the offence and here we go well time to pick that up and going board now south through Aaron Mitchell to drive Copeland
Well, 11-4 now in favour of South, third quarter in progress here for the 2023 North versus South competition that's received lots of positive feedback from all the participants. There's a mad sprint to get onside. <laughs> Takes place and she beats the whistle. I agree, puppy, little red dingo. Beautiful Kelpie underneath us here. South once again into attack, but North this time. On our broadcast side. Come up. Looks to position herself. Meanwhile, though, Mara Crane looks for some support and finds that in Plummer. Big shout out to all the pirate fans out there. Elkamos getting their first win a couple of weeks ago in the women's division two. There's the men, Wanneroo Junlup, very kindly agreeing to swap their scheduled state league match down here. To facilitate a good night of lacrosse. Men's state league on one field, women's on the other. Well, that was a great cut there. Perfect pass. And I believe that was Holly Plummer getting one back for the north. Clock's on. Well, just 12 minute quarters. So it definitely is going quickly. And that puts a challenge on the north as they look to get another couple of goals back. Well, Bailey Eastman in there. Celebrations and whistle for the match out the back there. Maddie Copeland. Comes wide, finds teammate there in Portlock. Quickly into attack now, south. Not enough time. And three quarter time here at Good Child Reserve, home of Phoenix Lacrosse Club for this Lacrosse WA North versus South women's competition. And at three quarter time, North five, South eleven. So if by chance I happen to have got the goal scorers wrong, my apologies for that. Plotting away, plugging away, as are the men's lacrosse out the back. No scoreboard, so can't see a score line there. 
Phoenix up against Wanneroo Joonlup. Phoenix looking to get inside the top four. Wanneroo Joonlup looking to retain and maintain their position inside that top four for the men's state league. One, two, three, north. The call, well... Need to do a little more than just cheer. As the South girls respond in kind. This broadcast proudly coming to you on the Community Sports Show. Thanks to our broadcast sponsors. ID Athletic, for all your club apparel and sporting merchandise needs. ID Athletic can help you and your club build your identity and even more special right now end of financial year sale reach out to Josh and the team and tell them Nolsey sent you here we go final caught up underway 11-5 in favour of South South in yellow North in the black those watching at home or for those watching at home who can't tell colours north going to the right of screen where they and their supporters will be hoping the majority of the action is for this final period so we've got a penalty going North, they pass come in from the fan well, important one there for North they pull the margin back to five Just running through the teams for both sides. North side led by Megan Shanks and Brendan Ballarine. Julie Ames, Olivia Anchelov, Mara Crane, Emma E, Rachel Ferguson. In goals it's Elizabeth Hinks, Maddie Colmeyer, Veronica Keane, Erin Laws, Ocean, Osha Levy, Skylar Levy, Rhiannon Panting, is North. Go into attack again, no cut. So, wow, great, great defence there. South goalie Kate Churchwood just imposing herself between the players there. And now, maybe South to clear. Rounding out the side, Holly Plummer, Olivia Robinson and Chloe Tatlow for the North that one a little low but time to pick it up Laws or Mitchell into attack that was Aaron Mitchell well players drop back you can see the two out there Skylar Levy was pays to wear a colour that attracts the attention of the camera. Now the drive, Plummer. Another one, that top centre. What can they do here? Dodge shot into the net. Oh, almost intercepted there. End to end. Wow, oh, that one off the post. Wow. The old saying, you don't have to be dead to be stiff, proves to be the case there as South are thwarted. Good 
Big crowd online. Big shout out to you all wherever you are. Thanks for joining us tonight. Rachel Ferguson takes the ball into attack for North. And now Osha Levy. Can't do it. Speaking of the Levies, the south side, coached by Gavin Levy. And consisting of Carl and Blair. They've got time. And on there, Emma Green goes wide. Both teams working hard. South come up with possession. Oh, Elizabeth Hinks keeps that one out. Goes wide. They'll go down the left hand wing. Not before passing to Ferguson. Oh, right in front of the crowd there. Couldn't ask for a better position there. South into attack now. Good run here. That's Carl and Blair. Spills loose. Scott Levy calls possession and does so herself. And there. Quickly into attack now. An opportunity for North. I need to capitalise here. Bounces under the stick of Levy. Close of yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you're going to call yeah, 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 you don't want to miss it on camera. And unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. Big smile on the face, nonetheless. These ladies having a good night out. Tegan Brown can afford to smile. Her side up. Now back to Tegan. This time on the break. She goes on the fast break here. Looks for support inside. There's runners through the middle. But it spills out and Hinks clears. And the end pressure here. Because of go, go, go. Well, time on their side here. South lead by, fi uh, by five. Yep. I'll double check my own mass there. Now, Emma Green represents Subiaco in the weekend competitions and that pass will be cleaned up on the side right South, working the clock down here. Both teams with the capacity. Equaliser in the quarter for South. Score 12-6. Final quarter. Hooper at the draw for South. The whistle goes out the back. The men's state league continues. We'll be out again tomorrow night, just up the road in 
East Fremantle for their match against Bayswater. Quick transition here, and that has split the field. Well, South starting to open up a big margin here. 13-6 in favour of South. Now, I mentioned the north side for South. It's Carlin Blair, Tegan Brown, Kate Churchwood, Maddie Copeland, Bailey Eastman, Emma Green, Ash Hiron, Kate Hooper, Devon Manu, Erin Mitchell, Posey O'Keefe, Georgia Portlock, Leanne Snyder, and rounding out the south side it is Emma Graham. As Ash Hiron draws the free. Plays on quickly. Gets it back. This is Ash Hiron reporting from Good Child Reserve. I wonder if she'll ever get the lacrosse on mainstream television here in Australia for some news. The whistle blows out the back. Play continues, but... Looks like we've got a foul. Well, drive in from the fan, knocked out. South. Lead by seven. And another opportunity here. High over the top, great pass, well taken. Free. Kelly Morley just explaining to the players. So it'll be free from the top of the fan. And it looks like that's Maddie Copeland with the ball. So Madison Copeland on the drive. Not loose. Homekeepers up. And long left now. As that one goes wide. Well. Elizabeth thinks encouraging her defenders. Looks like one last chance for South here. Well, knock forward. And there is the whistle. Full time here at Good Child Reserve for the Women's State League North versus South match coming to you live on the Community Sports Show. We've got our issues sorted, a couple of early glitches, but... We are here and we have brought you the game and it was a good one. Both ladies teams playing in good spirits and as we heard from Shani and Melissa Jane earlier, the women enjoying this format, the camaraderie and the good spirits that's been played in is a great testament to all the ladies out there tonight. Final margin. North side six, south side thirteen for the women's state league. North versus south. 
the two teams come together. Three cheers for the opposition and one for the refs. We'll try and catch up with Kate Hooper if we can. Organised this event and it has been a well received event. Two under 15 games on earlier at 6 o'clock. Division 2 and Division 1 at 7 o'clock. And now we've just seen the conclusion of the Women's State League in the North versus South competition here tonight for Lacrosse WA. I am Noel Knowles here, Johnston. On behalf of our sponsors, Vision Decor for all your blind curtain and awning needs and ID Athletic, let them help you build your identity. I am Noel Knowles here, Johnston. Till tomorrow night at 7 o'clock when I'm at East Fremantle. Take care, stay safe wherever you are and as always, be nice to yourself and nice to those around you too. Bye for now.